For those of y'all who do not know, we introduced something a couple weeks ago called the AHA moment of mm-hmm. the week. And Listen, it's been good. It's been good. <laughs> if you have not seen it, you got to go back and watch some of them after this video, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my revelation was this this past week, babe. Talk to us. Never put a limit on God. Okay. You know, sometimes I can worry. I could be a, a worrier. I'm the worrier. Uh, she's the she she the one who kind of keeps the faith that keeps me afloat, and I'm I'm working on that. A lot of times, I will minimize the scope of what I'm doing down to okay. Well, what if this happens? Well, what yeah, if that? And what if definitely. this? And all of those different things. <laughs> it, it, it it made me think back, babe, uh, to even. Back when I was managing, I, I've been in retail. I used to uh, work for a, a company that was like a premium retailer of T-Mobile. I was a sales rep, a sales agent, and I wanted to make more money. They told me the way that I had to do that, I had to move up. So I started to move up on up the ladder and all those things. And I think by the time I met you, I was assistant manager. Had my back against the wall at one time, and they had me at this one store, and they told me, like, listen, this is like – This one here got to work because Mm -hmm. I had been with some managers that I just didn't really fit with. I end up going, getting invited for a trip to New York. We Mm -hmm. were taking over some stores in New York. They needed some people to show them our systems, our way, our culture within this company. Mm -hmm. Went there for like a week, okay, traveling from uh, Manhattan out to Brooklyn in the hood on Nordstrom Avenue and all that. But word got back to Kansas City to the team who really hadn't really recognized me too much right they had not really recognized me it was just like oh i was just an assistant manager at the store i was at Mm -hmm. you know they wasn't really paying me no attention about a month i think about a month or so later from that they say to me hey we want you to take over this store Mm -hmm. as a manager i'm like whoa whoa Mm -hmm. whoa I, I, I don't know about that one there. I mean, y'all sure I'm ready? I mean, and my manager at this time and my district manager, like, Namdi, like, you, you got it. Mm-hmm. I came to you and was just like, babe, this is what they're talking about. you like, you didn't even think, like, of course. This is like the hardest store. Nobody wants to be at this store. Well, anyway, I take it, right? Go on this roller coaster ride. They graded our levels like A, B, C, D, mm-hmm. whatever. I was a C manager at this place. Mm-hmm. Went through some different struggles or whatever. I eventually asked to be moved back to assistant manager because I wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. I got moved back to my original store. Within a couple months, they then promoted me. They said, we want you to go take over this other store, uh, which was a fairly decent store, but Mm -hmm. wasn't the top store. Took over that store and wow. Blew my mind. I think the first month or first within the next first couple of months, we used to have like these heavyweight belts. I won all the different belts mm-hmm. that was in the market at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ended up being, the you know, when I said that I was a C average manager, well, I ended up being one of those A plus managers. We ended up winning mm-hmm. trips to Aruba and Bahamas and yep. all these things. But again, it just made me remember like, Namdi, I brought you through that. Mm-hmm. Like he made me remember, like he revealed, like I brought you through that situation. You didn't think that you could go and do this. Mm-hmm. And then you went there and you, and I took you through that valley mm-hmm. and you learned some things and then you end up getting elevated to this level. Mm-hmm. And it brought me to scripture here uh, where Jesus was talking in Matthew 19, 26. He says, he said himself, Jesus looked at them intently. He said, humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible. Mm-hmm. And this whole time, I I've had, I got him on my side. Like, yep. it made me even think about, you know, the things that I'm looking forward to now. Mm-hmm. And said, okay, he was with me then. Mm-hmm. He ain't going to leave me now. Mm-hmm. Okay? He's going to break me through just like he did in that same situation. I did not know if I was going to drown as that manager. Yeah. But he brought me through and um, really put me up, like, above even, my, like, with my peers at mm-hmm. the top. To this day, I believe I affected some of my team members, some of the people that worked up under me. They have mm-hmm. nothing but great things to, to say as far as that goes. So, yeah. again, never put a limit on God, babe. What you what you think about that? Yeah, when I think about never putting a limit on God, I think about doubling my expectation. Okay. So, not just expecting for him to take me somewhere, but for me to know like your plans are magnificent. Mm. They're huge for me. So whatever mm. I'm thinking, you can do 10. I remember I was 10 mm. times more. Yeah. And I remember actually uh, an example of not putting a limit on God. I spoke out what our salary would be. Do you remember mm. when I said that? I was like, we're going to make this. What you talking about this past? Yeah. I was oh, like, yeah. Twice. That Twice is a major key so that's alert. Why, Hold that's on. what I'm talking about. I didn't even think limits. about that. Not we, that's not rehearsed. Because we went and we did it. 
We did it twice. We did over it. We did it twice. We set a goal for a salary one time, and we wow. both. Well, I wasn't, but Namdi was like, "Babe, I, I, I ain't gonna lie." I was, I like, was like, "Sir, uh, God's gonna give us this." I wrote it, it down. Second it gear, yeah. made another goal, did it, and this yeah. year I got a cur- I got a crazy goal for this crazy year. Crazy goal. But, but my thing is like, why not? That's mm-hmm. what I think about when I say. Don't put a limit on what God can do because he's God. Like I remember I had a revelation that was like so simple. I don't know if you remember. And I was like, babe, like we're, we're sons and daughters of the God of the universe. Yeah. Like this is not a limited human. He created the you everything under it. And then the Bible tells us to go to his throne confidently. So that's, that doesn't mean, well, you know, God, (laughs) If you can just make me allow me to have mm-hmm. enough meals this week, like okay, mm-hmm. well that's your what's, that's what you're gonna get. Yeah. You're gonna get enough meals for the week. Yeah. So why not be crazy like Mike Ty says? Why not faith. have crazy faith Shout and out say, to Mike you know what? I'm gonna be a millionaire this year. Yeah. Now I ain't gonna sit down on my butt and and I do nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna work my butt off because yeah. it said that the hands of those that work will receive their treasure. Those that just talk about it will experience poverty. So no, we're talking about doing what you're supposed to do, but having crazy. I'm gonna do what I need to do, and yes. the rest is up to you. But yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this thing. I think it almost pleases him to yes. say, okay. You believe that I'm going to do and I'm going to mm-hmm. do it because your faith, he faith moves faith. mountains. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so it only takes a mustard seed on top yes. of that. So that's what yeah. I take from yeah. not setting a limit on God. Like don't, don't come to him with the bare minimum. And I think a lot of times we do that because yeah. we're doing the bare minimum. Yeah. So we expect the bare minimum in return. <laughs> you got to be also aware of your environments. Come are on. you around a bunch of pessimistic people? Are you around people that are okay with poverty Come on. that are okay with the bare minimum that are speaking death into yeah. your dreams, death into into your goals, yeah. death into your talents, your gifts, what is they, your desires. What does their life look like? What does their lifestyle that, look like? going to rub exactly. off on you too, exactly. regardless if you know it or not. That's something that I think we've been really intentional about here recently mm-hmm. um, and even trying to push ourselves. We need to, you know, getting out of our comfort yeah, zone to get got, with people that's It's like we've we got to go. get away from anybody that believes that nothing is possible. Like, yeah. no, we believe everything is possible everything because the, is. that's what the word says. Yes. <laughs> that's what the word yes. says. So that's what we stand on. So yeah. be aware of that. If you be struggle aware. with asking God for certain things or you yeah. struggle with believing that certain things can happen for you, what I always tell myself is mm-hmm. I remember when – in the Kanye series when he mm-hmm. talked about he used to practice his Grammy uh, speech yeah. going to the bus stop and it's like pay y'all pay attention to those desires that y'all have Come on. pay attention to those little whispers when you wake up and you like I just feel like I'm gonna be this yeah. pay attention to it once you get it water the seed and a lot of yeah. times what is a part of watering the seed is cutting off those that don't believe in themselves Come either on. so Come on. That's a big part. I just wanted to say that, yeah. like your environment, you talked about mother and just people yeah. that, that spoke death over you. And so it kind of de- developed this person that doesn't believe. And I'm going to always think yeah. of the worst outcomes. Like, nah, check that environment. Check it. Yeah, get around people that honor your that honor your gift. Honor and, themselves. Yes. Like, that's what I'm learning. Like, yeah. I want to be around people that are so focused and content with the Lord. They're so focused on what the Lord is doing Come for on. them. They ain't worried about if I'm popping more than them or not because <laughs> exactly. they're so content. And what, and what God is doing, doing with them. Yes. That's what I like when I think about groups of women that can operate together in groups, I'm like, because each woman is popping yeah. and they're good with themselves yeah. and they're content with themselves. So y'all better yeah. get around some people that's good with themselves. Because if they you. not, they gonna they gon they're gonna bring you down. So all of those they gonna, they gonna bring you down, <laughs> yes. man. And there's some people that I say I loved. I had to start to get away from it yeah. and all those things. It just limit my time and my comfort, my my conversations. Uh, being around too many people that think like you, okay? People that that are too much of a warriors that mm-hmm. come up with you know uh, like being around people like for me uh, that comes up with the what if before they just move on things. Yeah. Like for instance, like even we're think like what we're doing right now came from a seed like you said whatever God put in your heart like this came from when I was in the shower and I'm like man the Lord's been putting it on my heart to do this well why not me you know what yeah. I'm saying and getting and acting on that thing before it's swallowed up by okay so how am I do this and how am I do that and that's so, like the raid you got the revelation and then you started activating last week <laughs> yeah y'all, y'all gotta check go out back last episode check the aha check moment out from the last, last week so the aha moment it was titled yes. raid and it's realization when you get the awakening yeah. of who you are what you 
feel like you're called to do whatever yes. it might be and then you go into activation mode yep. which you've you've been doing yeah. going and operating in what you feel the lord has called you to do and sometimes doing that y'all yeah. leads you to being isolated it really does because you have to cut off people that do not match the vision yeah and then but people ultimately it leads to destination that's definitely. the raid y'all check that out Yeah, definitely make sure that y'all check that out man yeah. but we wanted to share that with y'all man i hope that encourages y'all yes. i hope that you're not putting a limit on god like what is it something that you're dreaming about like you know drop it down below something mm -hmm. that you're believing god for something what is it that we can maybe pray for you on that you've yes. been thinking about like i want to go start this or i want to do yeah. this or he's been putting our heart about this man listen drop that below we want to pray for you move on that thing act on that never put a limit on god Hey, man, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you could do us a huge favor, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Yes, and do not forget to hit that notification bell. Yes. We need y'all to be notified every single time we go live and when we drop a video. And uh, follow us on all social media platforms at The Ewebles. And we will see y'all next time on Radical Love with The Ewebles. We'll see you.